I'm Nikki from The Little Art Bus. Today we are going to be painting this rose in a cone. To paint along with me, make sure you have your Little Art Bus painting kit. If you don't already have one, you can purchase one through the website or click the link in the description below. Let's get started. Here are the supplies we'll be using for this painting. The brushes we're going to be using are a large flat brush, a medium flat brush, a medium round brush, and a tiny round brush. I'm going to be using two different cups of water, a big cup for cleaning our brushes, and a small cup to use to thin our paint. I've got my napkin and a paper plate for all of our paint colors. The paint colors I'll be using are pure white, bright yellow, true blue, ruby red, emerald green, and jet black. I'm going to start by priming my canvas using my large flat paintbrush. I'm gonna lightly tap my paintbrush in the small cup of water. Remember, you only need a little bit of water on your brush. You don't need it soaking wet, just a little damp. Then I'm going to pick up a bunch of white paint. Now I'm going to brush a thin layer all over my canvas. Just cover the whole thing. It's okay to cover up your lines, just make sure you can still see them through the white paint. Before I go back for more paint, I like to just get a little bit of water on my brush. This will help spread your white paint out better. Just a reminder, this is called priming the canvas. This will help the other paint colors go on smoother, blend better, and appear much more bright and vibrant. Now I'm gonna paint the sides and edges. Pick it up, flip it around. Okay, now that my canvas is primed, I'm going to paint my background. I'm going to paint all around the edge of my flower and cone. I'm going to make some teal blue. I'm not gonna rinse the white paint out of my brush, I'm just gonna grab some of this true blue paint and set it here. Then grab a little emerald green, just a tiny bit. These colors will blend with the white paint that's still on my brush and create a teal tone. This looks good. I'm gonna start by going around the outside of my ice cream cone. You can really do whatever you want to do in the background. You don't have to do what I'm doing. This is a fun abstract painting. We are not worrying about perfection. Just smush it in there. I think my teal needs to be a little bit darker. So I'm gonna add just a bit more true blue and a tiny bit more emerald green. I'm not worried about going over my lines. I can paint right over those when this paint dries.
Now I'm gonna grab a bit of white paint and start blending this teal paint out. Just keep going around. I'm going to paint the top edge so it blends in with the background. I'm just smushing my paint all around here. I think I need to add just a bit of water to help this paint blend. Oops, almost forgot to paint the bottom edge. I think I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to rinse my brush out. And dry it off on my napkin and move on to painting my ice cream cone. To paint the ice cream cone, I'm going to start by making some light orange paint. Get a little bit of water on my medium flat brush. I'm going to take some ruby red and put it right here. Add a little bit of yellow to make orange. I need this to be a pale orange, so I'm going to add a little bit of white. Keep adding yellow and white until I get a light yellowish orange I like. Now I'm going to fill in my ice cream cone. I'm going to wet my brush a bit and pick up some more of this orange. I'm going to mix up some yellow and white paint with this orange paint I have on my plate. This will make a really light orange paint that I'm gonna to use to create some high points and dimension to my ice cream cone. Now 
Now, with a bit of white paint on my brush, I'm going to paint a diagonal line right here. Put a little bit more of a highlight here using some of my white paint. Now I'm going to rinse out my brush and dry it off on my napkin. Now I'm going to grab my tiny round brush. I need to make a dark brown, so I'm going to get a little bit of red. And add a little yellow to it. And I'm going to add just a little bit of black. That looks good. Now I'm just going to go over these lines. That looks pretty good to me. I'm going to clean off my brush and dry it off on my napkin. Next, we're going to paint our rose. Okay, to start on my rose, I'm going to grab my medium round brush. I need to make a deep pink. I'll start by lightly dipping my brush in my small cup of water and I'm going to pick up a little bit of red. Add a little bit of white. I'm just going to make some tiny little dots here. going to go back over these areas in a little bit. I just like to get my dark areas down first for blending purposes. My paint is starting to dry a bit so I'll add a bit of water. I've got a really dark spot right about here so I'm going to paint a really big thick line. One here Maybe put some right over here. I'm running low on my pink, so I'm gonna mix up some more. I'll put some here. And another here. I'm basically painting over these black lines with my pink paint.
All right, I think I've got some good pink shadows in there. So now I'm gonna wipe my brush on my napkin and now I'm going to go in with some of my bright yellow. I'm just gonna dab it in here. And I kind of wanna mix it with the pink and turn it a bit orange. So maybe I'll add a little more pink here. The middle part of the rose here is gonna be pretty dark. Okay, so I've got some yellow right through here, so I'm gonna to mix together with a bit of white. Just smush my yellow in and let it blend together with the pink. Now just have some fun mixing the colors together. Maybe add a little bit of white to some areas. Add some over here. I think I've got my color in there pretty well, so the next thing I'm going to do is start blending in some more white for highlights. I'm going to grab my medium round brush again and grab a bit of white paint. And start blending it in on my rose's petals. I'm using the white to fill in some of these empty spots and to soften the harsh lines of pink and yellow. I'm just gonna keep blending, blending, blending.
I might have blended these areas out a bit too much, so I'm going to go back in with a tiny bit of red and darken them up again. Now I'm going to get a little bit of red and go in and darken up my ice cream cone's waffle lines. So now I'm taking my tiny round brush and get some white paint and just start adding little highlights to my ice cream cone. Okay, so now I am all done painting in my rose and ice cream cone. Next, I'll be adding in some black lines and finishing some final details. Okay, now I'm going to get my tiny round paintbrush again. I'm going to grab a little bit of black paint and I'm going to put in my dark lines. I'm also going to add some black lines to my ice cream cone. Now to finish, I'm going to sign my canvas. Okay, voila, all done. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed painting this as much as I did. To keep up with all the fun and creativity happening on the little art bus, make sure you're following us on Facebook and Instagram. We're creating lots more videos over the summer, so make sure you like and subscribe to the Little Art Buses YouTube channel. Also, starting now, we're offering virtual art parties. You can enjoy painting Little Art Bus style anywhere in the U.S. For more info, click the link in the description below. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you soon.